Welcome to Morningstar Mill. Morningstar Mill was built in 1872. Our water comes from Lake Huron, Lake Erie, through the Welland Canal, down through the Welland Canal to Lake Gibson, under the road out here at the Q Road, down towards the falls. When it gets to the falls, just before it gets to the falls, we dam it up and save a bit in our mill pond. That's what that little dam is that's just outside here. Then the water comes down from there and goes down the pipes beside the mill, down to the Comstock shaft, which is in the turbine shed at the back of the mill. In the bottom of the turbine pit is the turbine, and it comes up the hill, all up the shaft, all the way up to the top, this is where all the power comes from for the mill. The shaft is turning behind the plexiglass there so that everything's nice and safe top here you see the gears that it's running. The gears here go through the wall. On the other side of the wall they run all the belts and pulleys upstairs in the second floor. That's where all the drying equipment and sorting equipment is. This is some of the sorting equipment up here. Down in the basement is the big gears that turn the stone. That black shaft there goes up through the floor and right up to the stones on the first floor. The drain comes down a chute that's called a horse. And it lands in the hopper. And it gets in the hopper and it's fed into the, the stones under the tun. The tun is a cover for the stone, and it's made of tin steel, stops the flour from flying all over. The stone has grooves cut in it like this, so that it grinds the grain down to a fine piece. Then it goes down to the basement, and it's sorted in what's called a bolter. The bolter sorts the, the flour so that we get the fine flour at one end, and down at the other end we get the bran, which is the husk on the outside of the wheat. We hope you've enjoyed your tour of the mill. Come back and visit us again. You can also keep up with us on the internet.